Sometime between the 18th and 20th of January 1788, a fleet of 11 ships, captained by Arthur Phillip, arrived at Botany Bay uninvited. They didn't really like the spot, so a few days later they left again and hopped up to Port Jackson, arriving on the 26th of January and establishing a disruptive and expansionist colony without the permission of the people who were already living there. Since then, the way different individuals and groups within our society have commemorated this occasion has changed and evolved continually. There's never been a national consensus as to how we should mark the arrival of the First Fleet. In recent decades, the 26th of January has become a time of celebration for many Australians. As a child, I always felt uncomfortable about Australia Day because it was a time of year when I felt least welcomed and accepted by my community, despite being born in Brizzy and having known no other home. The way in which many Australians marked the date seemed to subtly reinforce the idea that white Australians who conformed to dominant social norms were somehow more Australian than me. These days we do a slightly better job of celebrating cultural diversity, but it can still feel a little tokenistic, like we're reducing different cultures to the food they cook or the clothes they wear, rather than celebrating and learning from their underlying values and contrasting worldviews. But putting that aside for a moment, the most controversial aspect of the 26th of January is that as the anniversary of the establishment of the British colony at Sydney Cove, it also marks the beginning of the European invasion. So celebrating on the 20th, 26th of January means partying on the anniversary of the invasion. Speaking practically, I, I don't think it's technically correct to say that the majority of people who celebrate the 26th of January are actively celebrating the British invasion of this continent. I think most of them would say they're celebrating the positive aspects of modern Australia. But even if you're not celebrating the invasion itself, it's still kind of messed up to spend so much energy and put so much emphasis on celebrating modern Australia on this date while completely ignoring our dark history and while playing down the many ongoing injustices and abuses that our government continues to promote against First Nations people and a long list of other marginalised groups. What's frustrating to me is that as soon as you dare to question the current form or underlying values of Australia Day, you're immediately subjected to a, bar like a barrage of aggressive personal criticism. Too many people seem to interpret any critique of Australia Day as a personal attack on them as individuals. Every year I make a few public statements questioning whether it's appropriate to be celebrating on the anniversary of the invasion and without fail I'll be told to go back to where I came from, to love it or leave it, to fit in or fuck off. This seems to happen no matter how diplomatically I choose my words. But the need for nuanced empathetic dialogue does go both ways and I don't think it's constructive or fair to argue that everyone who happens to go to a backyard barbecue on the 26th of January is racist. All I'm really asking this year is that people approach the conversation with respect and an open mind. If you're not quite sure what you think of it all, take the time to read a few opinion pieces or watch a few videos about the issue. The meaning and significance of the 26th of January is always changing and has been a topic of debate for centuries now. So don't fall for the lazy, oh, we've always done it this way arguments. I'd like to suggest that all Greens members and representatives get along to an Invasion Day or Survival Day event, if you can, and hear the perspectives of First Nations peoples. This isn't just about what happened in the past. There's still a lot of ongoing discrimination against Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people that we need to take action on. This is a really complex issue. Invasion Day definitely shouldn't be forgotten, but the way many of us currently celebrate it is deeply problematic, and we need to continue the conversation about it rather than ignoring or attacking anyone who disagrees with you. So, see you on Invasion Day.